Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 movies you watched on repeat as a kid. Oh, shit. Talking mushrooms. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most addictive kids' movies from 1980 to 2010 that had something about them that kept kids coming back for more. Which movies had you glued to the TV when you were young? Post your favorites in the comments. Are you in the market for a new smartwatch? Check out Get Mojo's list of recommendations in the description below. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe for the latest product reviews, unboxings, and recommendations. Number 20, Space Jam. Bugs Bunny and his Looney Tunes pals have been making us laugh on repeat for decades, and this 90s film was no exception. Threatened by sinister aliens, our favorite animated tunes recruit NBA star Michael Jordan to help them earn their freedom. What I'm trying to say is, we need your help! Yeah, but I'm a baseball player now. Right, and I'm a Shakespearean actor. To do that, Jordan must help them become a winning basketball team. Just like classic Looney Tunes cartoons, the film was colorful, wacky, and packed with action. Even Jordan has a moment of animated magic during the final game. Overflowing with celebrity cameos, this was a movie made for kids that also appealed to sports fans. Doc. Yeah. You kick it into the girl bunny. Yeah. Down in the post. You dish it back out to the guy bunny. Got you it. swing it around the mic over here. You go to the hole Bill. and dominate. We own defense. Oh yeah. Whoa. -ho -ho. I don't play defense. Just as kids have been re-watching Bugs and the Gang for years, this movie was made to be played on repeat. Number 19, Hocus Pocus. You might think that three witches trying to suck the souls out of children doesn't sound like a comic children's film. However, the comedic genius of Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy made kids giggle at every wickedly chaotic moment. You hag! There are not enough children in the world to make thee young and beautiful. Uh-oh. Sisters, did you hear what he called you? Whatever shall we do with him? Wacky faces, wild broomstick antics, and colorful music numbers kept this movie fast-paced and engaging. During a season of films that commonly give children nightmares, this one was campy fun for all ages. So, when you hear someone at karaoke belting out, I put a spell on you, you can bet they play this movie on repeat every Halloween. I put a spell on you, and now you're gone. Number 18, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As soon as the digital drums and keyboards start on this movie's theme song, all of the nostalgia comes flowing back. Awesome! Yes, dudes and dudettes, Major League Butt Kicking is back in town! Oh yeah! Who are these mysterious heroes that live in the sewers of New York City? They're four ninja-trained teenagers that just happen to be mutant turtles. Kids were dialed in to watch Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo fight crime, eat pizza, and learn important lessons about growing up. Each bodacious mutant had a distinctive personality and unique ninja weapon, so everyone had their favorite turtle to imitate. The combination of silly comedy and seriously radical fighting was just the right combo to make this movie a knockout. Number 17, Spy Kids. You know your boring parents? What if they were spies? My parents can't be spies, they're not cool enough. And they needed you to rescue them with cool gadgets. The premise of this unique movie instantly drew young people in. Why did they watch it again and again? Maybe because Carmen and Junie, the two charismatic leads, got to use inventions that came straight out of a child's imagination. They also fought giant thumb thugs and psychedelic monsters that were inspired by their nightmares. The young sibling pair learned to work together, appreciate their family, and ultimately, they saved the day. Careful! They're stronger and smarter now. So do we. 
This wild romp of super saturated wackiness was so fun and bizarre that kids couldn't look away. Number 16, Elf. When you're feeling down, nothing will lift your spirits better than Buddy the Elf. This heartwarming story is taken beyond the usual cheesy Christmas tale by Will Ferrell's charming characterization. Santa! Oh my god! Santa here? I know him! I know him! The adopted elf on a journey to find his human father is naive, but not dumb. He points out the goodness in life that we often overlook. Without Buddy, would kids know how to appreciate a really good revolving door? Sure, it's a Christmas movie, but since 2003, we've been putting it on repeat whenever we feel the need for a little extra cheer. Number 15, Finding Nemo. This underwater tale of a father's search for his lost son was something that parents could easily relate to. Nemo! <sighs> Nemo! Nemo, no! You know that if the adults like it, it's going to get played more often. For the young fans, this hero's journey was an amazing look at the mysterious world under the sea and its fabulous creatures. It showed them how to get along with different personalities and reminded everyone that when things look dark, you should just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. So whether you love the fish with a short attention span, the aggressively friendly shark, or the super chill turtle, this movie takes its young viewers on an adventure of whale-sized proportions. Number 14, The Sandlot. Is it a sports movie about playing baseball? Yes and no, and that's why kids loved it. This coming of age story was more about hanging out with your buddies during the summer than it was about playing the game. And for the main character, Scotty Smalls, it was about finding your way into a new group of friends. That's something that anyone who's felt like an outsider could connect with. The Sandlot was also about doing dumb things like chewing tobacco on a carnival ride and challenging the neighborhood's scariest dog. In other words, what summer is all about. Sitting down for another inning of this feel-good comedy was always going to be a home run. Number 13, Beethoven. Just as Beethoven sneaked into the house of the Newton family, this movie mysteriously found its way onto every kid's television again and again. Beethoven is the story of a lovable Saint Bernard who solves problems and frequently saves the day. He also causes quite a lot of destruction, which was a big part of the appeal. What could be funnier than a big muddy dog shaking slimy goo all over the uptight dad? From adorable puppy to big hearted canine, this was a movie that dog lovers couldn't get enough of. Number 12, Ghostbusters. Why did parents in the 80s let their children watch this movie? It's true that it had a cartoonish slime ghost and a giant marshmallow man. Did that balance the constant deadly peril and characters getting turned into demon dogs? Well, since the ghost hunting professors didn't take any of these scary things seriously, kids could laugh at it as well. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. The hapless hunters cracked jokes, got slimed, and had the laser enhanced backpacks that ended up on every Christmas wish list. Watching this comedy over and over felt like you were following in the steps of the Ghostbusters themselves by doing something you probably shouldn't. Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. We're ready to believe you. Number 11, The Mask. Jim Carrey was the king of 90s comedies, and this off-the-wall film was another perfect vehicle for his physical humor. When timid Stanley Ipkiss put on a mysterious mask, he found that wearing it gave him the kind of wacky powers usually only found in animation. <laughs> he could make crazy faces, break anything he wanted, 
and teach jerks a lesson with magically appearing objects. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well... Do ya? Punks? Even though the masked persona could get violent, it didn't have any serious consequences. The green-faced alter ego was a cartoon character brought to life in the real world, which is basically every kid's dream. Number 10. Back to the Future Start with a teenager who hates school, loves rock and roll, and isn't understood by his family. Then send him to the past in a really cool car. No wonder everyone was obsessed with this classic 80s film. Marty McFly spends the movie desperately trying to fix the mistakes he made in the past to get back to his life in the future. Doc, are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? The focus on running out of time kept attention high and the story fast-paced. It also showed kids that their parents used to be young and have the same kind of problems they did. This movie's popularity was as unexpected as a lightning strike, but kept us watching far into the future. Number 9. E.T. The Extraterrestrial Picture a group of kids flying through the air on their bicycles as a small blanket-covered alien rests safely in the front basket. This iconic moment made the kid-friendly sci-fi movie an instant classic. It featured normal suburban young people working together to help a timid alien get back home. Also, by filming with low camera angles, Steven Spielberg created a movie from a child's point of view. The young viewers rarely saw adult faces and so could identify with Elliot and his siblings as they protected the big-eyed extraterrestrial. After all, if they could do something so big, then maybe any small person could do important things too. Number 8. The Never Ending Story In this fantasy adventure, a 10-year-old named Bastion reads a very special book that leads to a grand adventure. It was midnight in the howling forest. The wind whistled through the tops of the ancient trees. Suddenly something enormous crashed and rumbled through the eerie woods. Through the eyes of a young warrior, Atreyu, he explores a world plagued by an encroaching darkness. Just as Bastion became a part of the story through the book, the film audience was included in the adventure as well. That in itself was enough to keep kids watching, but this eerie film also didn't shy away from the idea that sadness, like the nothing, can steal hope. It reminded its youthful viewers that sometimes you can find joy again by allowing yourself to dream. Number 7. Labyrinth Sarah, frustrated by her annoying baby brother, wishes the goblins would take him away. Older siblings everywhere could sympathize. Of course, she didn't really mean it, but David Bowie's darkly glamorous Goblin King takes her up on the offer. You're him, aren't you? You're the Goblin King. I want my brother back, please, if it's all the same. What's said is said. But I didn't mean it. Oh, you didn't. On her journey through the labyrinth, the dramatic teen encounters a series of creepily cute characters who challenge her to take responsibility for her choices. This musical fantasy was full of catchy songs and some of Jim Henson's finest puppet creations. <laughs> we can show you a good time. Show you a good time. And we don't charge nothing. nothing, at nothing at all. It reminded us that your childhood imagination is always there when you need it. Number 6. Shrek. A hero who burps, makes rude remarks, and has a talking donkey for a best friend? What kid wouldn't watch that over and over? The cranky ogre who found his swamp overrun by displaced fairy tale characters was an instant favorite. What are you doing in my house? Hey! 
Oh, you no, 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 no. Dead broad off the table. Where are we supposed to put her? The bed's taken. Huh? <gasps> what? Although Shrek's broad humor was clearly targeted at young people, the parody of fairy tale tropes made it fun for adults as well. Pairing the amazing comic timing of Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy created a chaotic duo that kids just couldn't stop watching. Shrek, did you do that? Man, you gotta warn somebody before you just crack one off. My mouth was open and everything. Believe me, donkey, if it was me, you'd be dead. It's Brimstone. We must be getting close. Yeah, right, Brimstone. Like the catchy soundtrack of tunes that played nonstop in your head, this smash hit was also constantly on repeat. Number 5. Home Alone It has to be assumed that many kids watch this movie over and over to memorize the traps and try them out on their siblings. But that's not the only reason we push play on the story of Kevin McAllister living home alone at Christmas. This sassy 8-year-old was blunt and sarcastic, but kind when it was called for. He ate ice cream for dinner and watched as much TV as he wanted. Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. The bad guys were goofy criminals, but not so evil as to be truly scary. The humor was violent, but nobody really got seriously injured. Best of all, the ingenious child saved the day, and a happy Christmas was had by all. Hey, you know, we've been looking for you two guys for a long time. Yeah, I remember, we're the wet bandits. Wet bandits and Shut up! Shut up! Oh, oh. Hey, come, on, come on. Number four, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Who knew a combination of film noir and wacky animated characters would make for such a rewatchable adventure? The quality animation in this madcap movie made it seem possible that cartoons and real people could live in the same world together. Hold still, will ya? Does this help? Yeah, thanks. Do you mean to tell me that you could have taken your hand out of that cuff at any time? So kids jumped right on board to see if Eddie Valiant would clear the hapless rabbit of murder charges. No matter how many times you watched this live action and animated mashup, there was always something new to see. Whether it was Daffy Duck and Donald Duck playing dueling pianos, or a Dumbo flyby, this was a movie that was always worth another viewing. I've worked with a lot of wise clackers, but you are despicable! <laughs> Number 3. Toy Story all children suspect that their toys come alive when they leave the room, and this movie proved it. The toys in this film had some of the same problems all young people have. Buzz Lightyear, a charismatic space ranger, felt a little lost in his new home. My ship has crash landed here by mistake. Yes, it is a mistake, because you see the bed here is my spot. I need to repair my turbo boosters. Do people still use fossil fuels, or have you discovered crystallic fusion? Woody, the longtime favorite toy, was jealous of Andy's new friend. When Woody and Buzz are lost, they have to learn to accept each other and work together to succeed. The series of mishaps that occur along the way kept it from being too serious, and the odd couple energy of Tim Allen and Tom Hanks kept kids laughing to infinity and beyond. Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! Sheriff, this is no time to panic. This is the perfect time to panic! I'm lost, Andy is gone, they're gonna move from their house in two days and it's all your fault! My, my fault? Number 2. The Goonies is there a more lovable band of outcasts than the quirky crew trying to save the Goondocks? On a mission to save their home from evil developers, these children go on an epic treasure hunt. Guys, what are we gonna do about that country club? It's killing our parents. If we don't do something now, there's gonna be a golf course right where we're standing. Who doesn't dream of finding a pirate ship full of treasure? The characters talk the way real kids do when adults aren't around. The bad guys were threatening, but also fought like a family and made hilarious mistakes. And there will always be a special place in our hearts for Chunk and Sloth's pure friendship. Sloth, you're gonna live with me now. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna take care of you. <laughs> Cause I love you. Oh, I love you, Chunk. Full of physical comedy, danger, and the desire to save their home, The Goonies was a feel-good triumph as legendary as One-Eyed Willie.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Princess Bride With the perfect combination of drama, humor, action, and romance, this eminently quotable film appeals to kids in every generation. From brave Princess Buttercup to the dangerously clever Vizzini, each character is unforgettable and completely sincere. You guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong! That's what's so funny! I switched glasses when your back was turned! Ha <laughs> ha, you fool! You fell victim to one of the classic blunders! The story is simple, but full of witty banter and original peril. If it starts to feel a little too serious or tense, the movie flips back to the sick boy hearing the story from his doting grandfather. It's a fairy tale full of pirates, sword fights, friendship, and true love. I told you I would always come for you. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. Only watching this movie once? Inconceivable! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.